Carey man is being held without bond after admitting to police he strangled his mother and girlfriend to death. Brandon Lee says he killed his mother a week ago and his girlfriend on Saturday. Now, we understand Steve Sprazia was in the court as Lee made his first appearance and has more on the 911 call confession. Steve? And those 911 calls were disturbing as well as very revealing about what happened. It was under two minutes for that first appearance here in court today. Brandon Lee had a judge hold him on no bail and appoint a court-appointed attorney. And that was all after he was arrested Sunday by Cary Police. I'm going to turn myself in. That confession during his 911 call to police is what led to Brandon Lee's arrest and court appearance this afternoon. During his 911 call, the 34 year old man said that his mother was killed on December 14th at her home on Havers Drive. Is she still inside the house? Yeah, she's in her bathroom. Um, yeah, she's in her bathroom in her tub. How did you do it? Um, she came at me with a knife and then I ended up choking her. Lee says he then went to his girlfriend's home on Park Top Drive. There he told the dispatcher he killed her on Saturday. Uh, my girlfriend was seeing someone else and lying to me and I ended up choking her too. Okay, and where is she at in the house there? On She's right here on the floor. In what room? In the main living room. Lee told the dispatcher he waited till yesterday to make his call because he had been drinking to get up the nerve to turn himself in. He then launched into a rambling explanation during that call. Just hope Jesus forgives me. My, my girlfriend was addicted to drugs and running around and my mother wanted to kill herself. I couldn't let her kill herself because that's how forgiven was saying. And she's trying to kill me at the same time, so I don't know. I hope this all works out. All of it very, very disturbing. In the meantime, there were also two different groups in court that told me they were there for Lee's first appearance, but following the session, they did not speak on camera. But one man, as he was leaving, said that he has to pay for what he's done. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, WNCN News.